All right, Shalom. Um, this is Brother Daniela coming back at you again uh, with another lesson. Um, you know, and uh, first off, you know, all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakak with Dash. All right, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. And uh, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the whole full leg brethren teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. So, uh, <clears throat> This video, uh, I was inspired to do this video um, from checking out one of these uh, Bible websites that I saw. Uh, I believe it's a brother who's in Cleveland. One of the old videos that he did, but he gave this website on on uh, Bible commentary, right? Which you know, there's some good stuff in in in, in the Bible commentaries. You know, I only say it's good because it lines up with the scriptures. All right, so you know. Uh, really, the whole point of this lesson is, you know, when you're using a, a, a commentary, you know, or, you know, anything else that might have a, a content that could be a spiritual, man, as in uh, 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 that goes along with the scriptures. You got to chew the meat. And you got to spit out the bones. Right. Extract the things that line up with the scriptures. OK. And, uh, 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 you know, uh, and leave, leave the bones, leave all that other stuff alone. Right, because it's, it's not true according to the scriptures. Right, <clears throat> so you know I'm gonna give I'm gonna give an example of that, and I'm I'm gonna just get into it because uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go ahead and just get into it right here on the commentary. So now this is, this is commentary I looked up for uh, Job chapter one and verse six. You know, because uh, uh, I was curious on, on what the commentary would say here. So. <clears throat> Which you know these 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 Edomites it's obvious that they they write these different commentaries, right? And they know these different things. I'm a, I'm gonna get into that. Salakia, let me just get started here. All right, so this is Job, the commentary for Job one and six. All right, it says Job one and six uh, tells us of a remarkable event: the sons of the Most High coming to present themselves before the Lord. Right, which these are the angels, and it's eight. Hey, the commentary is going to be on point with that. It says, as the book later says, the sons of the Most High were pre pre present uh, at the creation of the earth. It said, it is clear that the reference is to angels, right? God's sons, by virtue of having created them. Right now, yeah, yeah, these these are the these are the angels. Now the Most High has, you know, it not not it's not necessarily it's not necessarily uh, by virtue that he uh, created them that they're his sons, right? Because the Lord have created a uh, 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 he has creations that he doesn't consider his sons. Hence, the Edomites, because he hates the Edomites, right? But he loves the Israelites, as is written. You know, uh, that's that's Malachi, uh, the, the first chapter. So I'm, I'm going to just read on here. It says uh, even more remarkably on the occasion is that Satan comes among the angels appearing before the most high. Right. Because Satan is the son of the most high also. He's, he's an angel on the left hand side. Right, the top angel on the left hand side. Right, because we know that the Lord controls all things. It says, Many believe this event occurred in the heaven in God's, as they say, heavenly court. Right? Now, this is true. This happened in the spiritual realm. Right? And we there's other examples in the scriptures that show you that. Right? That this happened in now. <clears throat> You see what Esau, because he's such a freaking devil and he's a liar, he'll word things to make it seem like, uh, uh, to make it seem like, to sow doubt or make it seem like uh, it's, it could it could be true, it, it could not be true, you know, that it could possibly not be true, right? So, right, he said he's telling the truth, but he's, he's, where he's adding doubt in there. I'll read that again. It says, uh, Salakia. It says, many believe the event occurred 
in in God's, as they said, heavenly court. Yet it seems highly unlikely that the that God the Father would allow Satan to be in direct uh, presence and defile his celestial throne room, right? Because <clears throat> they're going off of the uh, this this is them trying to push and going off of a uh, 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 Satan rebelled against the Most High in heaven and 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 and. and a third part of the angels were cast out of heaven onto the earth. You know, that madness, man. Which, that's not in the scriptures, right? Because when, when you look at the word Satan, it means adversary, right? Now, that is, there's a spiritual demon, Satan, right? And then there's his physical counterpart on the earth, which would be Esau, Edom. Hey, just as it says in uh, 2 Thessalonians, in the second cha chapter, man, whose coming is after the workings of Satan, Right, so the spiritual demon Satan works with these Edomites, okay, these so-called white people on the left-hand side, right, to do all their de uh, deceiving and their deceivery, as some brothers put it, their their, their deceiving and their wickedness and their destruction, right. So, um, but what I, the point I wanted to get to is. Satan is is uh is an angel on the left hand side, man, and he, and the Lord uses him to do evil, right? So he hearkens onto the voice of the Most High, right? So he does his commandments, right? Just as it says, all the angels they don't tr transgress his commandments, right? And we're hey man, uh, we're gonna um. We're gonna get that, but I, I just I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I'm just keep on reading here. It says, uh, it says, uh, because there's a point that's coming up that I really wanted to get. It says, yet it seems highly unlikely that uh, God the Father and there they go with that Trinity thing, man, would allow Satan to be in his direct presence to defile his celestial throne, throne room. It says, indeed. Nothing abominable or profane is permitted to enter in the holy city of the Most High. Right, which is, you know, basically, uh, I believe they, they make a reference to New Jerusalem, but those are the members of, of, of the kingdom. Okay, it says the New Jerusalem, right, which <laughs> that, that now awaits in heaven. It says Revelations 21 and 27. It says... The Most High cast Satan down from heaven prior to man's creation, <laughs> and see, this is this is what they're going on. <laughs> the fable that they that they made using the scriptures and twisting them to make these different fables, man's creation, and will later do so again at the end of the age in response to a la last demonic assault. <laughs> wow. <While laughs> Why would the Father grant Satan casual access to heaven in between? In a related vein, well, yeah, well, why would he do that? Right? Because Satan is working for the Most High. Okay? All right? The Most High is power over everything. It says, in a related vein, some think Satan's constant accusation of the Most High's people before the Most High in Revelation occurs in heaven. Now, when it when it talks about that, this is talking about uh, uh, the Edomites, right? This is talking about the Edomites, because as it's written, it says, uh, uh, "Thou slanderest thou thy thine own mother's son," which is talking about Esau, and which they do, you know. They a hey, and they you know they make a uh, uh, prayers to the most they they try to get us to go off, and they and say hey man look 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 at your people they're doing this and they're doing that and they're doing this man all because they lost their birthright. All right, it says, uh, Salakia, it says people, uh, accusations of God's people before the Most High, uh, Revelations ten, twelve and ten occurs, in heaven. Right, you say getting this all twisted up. It says, however, we should consider that whenever the Most Highest people pray to Him, they are coming 
before his throne, which is true. It says, see Hebrews uh, 4, 4 and 16. It says, surely Satan's words too, though spoken on earth, are heard before the Most High. <laughs> you see, they're trying to explain away why they're trying to explain this whole situ situation away. Right, they're taking the scriptures and they're they're, they're giving, they're, they're they're using them in the wrong way, man. No, <laughs> right, and we're gonna prove that the Lord willing this to be edifying, and we're gonna prove that in this lesson, man, because Esau is a trip, man. It says, yet is that what? See, look, and they, this they ask some questions to pose doubt. Yet is that what is happening in the book of Job? I consider the. In considering the matter, it is nowhere specified. Whoa. Now, this is the point I wanted to get, man. It is nowhere specified that the Most High in Job 1 was God the Father. And they're going off of this Trinity thing. Or that the Lord in this chapter was even in heaven at all. Right? So, they, as you can see... They're so in doubt with the, the, the wording of their sentences on things that are true. All right. And now they're just they're just throwing a complete lie in here. Right. Which is why you got to be, you know, <clears throat> you know, you got two to meet and spit out the bones when you're reading these commentaries. They don't line up with the scriptures. It ain't true. It says. Uh, it says. It's a lock here. Lost my place. It seems. It seems much more likely that the Lord here in the book of Job, who later spoke to Job, was the word. <laughs> was the was God the word? So they're trying to say that this is Yahweh Shai, man. The one who became uh is um. Uh, uh, I'm I'm uh, the one who became the Messiah. That's what I'm gonna say. It says the the pre incarnate uh, Hamashiach or Christ, as they say, walked on the earth in patriarchal times. Right. So this is where they're going off, man. Now it says nowhere does it specify it was it was God the Father. Right? What's with that whole Trinity thing, man? Uh when when Yahweh Shai says, or uh, uh the Messiah says, well yeah, his, his name is Yahweh Shai. When he says that he and his father are one, that means that he and his father are in agreement. They're two separate entities, but they agree. But when they said, um, it doesn't specify that this is God the Father. This is the Heavenly Father himself. Read this. Let's read this. All right. So this is Job chapter 1 verse 6. So I went back to the scriptures to see this if this if, if what they were saying was true. Well, it says Job 1 and 6. Now there was a day <clears throat> when the sons of the Most High, the angels, came to present themselves before the Lord. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's a, uh, that's a, uh, um, the, is, is that not all caps I see, right? It says Lord, all caps. Let's get it. That's H3068. Let's get it. What's that? The word there is Yahweh, right? The heavenly father. His actual name is there. All right. So they actually appeared before the most high. His name is there. How are you going to appear before the Most High? You're not in the heavens. Right? So the angels, they appear, they appeared, they presented themselves in the heavens, all right, to the Most High. It says, and Satan came also among them, right? Because Satan is a son of the Most High. Here, let's get Job chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came and present themselves before Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. All right. It says, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Most High. Whoo. Right. 
Because the most high control the most high controls everything, the good and the bad. Right? Yeah, let's let's get this here. Cause the word Satan here means adversary, one who withstands adversary, human adversary. Uh let me see. Shilaki an opponent, Satan. Just the arch enemy of good. Satan. This is this is the spiritual demon, Satan. Alright? To present himself. It says Satan also presented himself. Right? And who were presenting themselves that day? Uh 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 the angels. Right? And then it got specific to saying Satan was presenting himself because he was an angel of the most high too. Right? Now to prove that. Um, hey, just to show that the Lord does all things, we're going to get this. This is Amos. <clears throat> right? Because in Job uh, chapter 1, uh, 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 the Lord uh, allowed Satan to plague and, 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 and uh, Job, right? To test his faith. To plague him. So, um... Let me see. We're going to go to the book of Amos. Um, we're going to go to, go to the book of Amos, chapter 3. And we're going to start at verse, uh, I believe it's 6. Right, so this is Amos, chapter 3, and verse 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people be not afraid, right? Because the trumpet represents a, a, a war to warn you that war was coming or danger was coming, right? It says, uh, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it, right? So can, can something bad in the city happen? People dying, you know, uh, buildings blowing up, you know, uh, people getting put to death. Can that happen and the Lord didn't do it? Right? We look up that word uh, evil is wry. It says bad, bad, disagreeable, malignant, bad. It says unpleasant. Right? Evil, given pain, unhappiness, misery. So when that happens, the Lord's doing it. Right? That's why they're asking the question. Can this happen and the Lord didn't do it? Right, meaning he does it. Okay. It says uh this is Isaiah uh and then we're gonna get Isaiah chapter forty five. Isaiah chapter forty five, and we're gonna start at I believe verse verse uh six. I'm gonna start at verse six. It says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west. There is none beside me. I am Yahweh. That's what it says right there. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and there is none else. Right? It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, do all these things. Right? So the Lord does all these things on the right hand and on the left hand, right? Because the Lord is balanced. Let's get that. Uh, this is um, this is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but just waste are his delight, right? So uh, everything is has to be balanced with the, with the Most High, man. So that's why he has evil angels. Right, that's why he has wicked angels and he has he has righteous angels, man, for balance. And the Lord does all these things, just as we read. I the Lord do all these things, right? Just as we read in uh, uh Isaiah 45. Okay? So uh, uh 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 Satan was not kicked out of heaven, right? Because Satan obeys the orders of the heavenly father. Right, all the angels, the right hand and left hand, they obey the, the heavenly Father, man, and His Son. Right, they obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, 
Now, um, just as just as proof that the Lord uh, 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 uses, uh, um, um, you know, uh, these demons to do his pleasure, right? His will, right? We're gonna get a uh, example uh, that was um. This is hell. We're just gonna go to it. This is what happened happened in Egypt, man. He caused evil evil to come upon him with those different plagues because Pharaoh wouldn't let you know the Israelites go. All right. So this is um. This is um uh, Psalms. Let me get there. Psalms. And you know I'm gonna try to. Not make this too long because I gotta get ready to go to work soon. But let me see, let me go back here. This is Psalms, <clears throat> right? Psalms chapter, this is Let me get to it. Chapter 78 and verse, uh, verse 40. Move that over there. Forty-eight. It says, "Now this is what happened in um Egypt, right? All these different plagues that happened in Egypt, which was evil, right? Uh, it was uh it was uh, an unpleasant time. What's evil? When you go back into it, when you look it up in the Latin, it means a uh, bad time or bad age." Right, so this was a un, a bad age or unpleasant time for these Egyptians. Right, it says, uh, whoo, let me see here. Now this is talking about the Most High. I'm going to start at 41, and then I'm going to get some of the, and I'm going to just, I'm going to try to get to the point. It says, yea, they turned back and tempted the Most High and limited the Holy One of Israel. So letting you know that this is the Most High. They remember not his hand, the Most High's hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy, which were the Egyptians. It says how he had wrought his signs in Egypt, right? And his wonders in the field of Zo Zoan. Let me look that up. Zoan. It says an ancient city of lower Egypt called Tanis by the Greeks. So, okay. So that's in, that's in Egypt, right? It says, and had turned the rivers into blood and their floods that, that they could not drink. So Lord turned the water into blood, man. Right, it says he sent diverse sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. Right, so the Lord sent all types of evil on them, man. It says he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and their labor unto the locust. Right, it says he destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. Right, so he's messing up everything in the land, the crops, the people, right? Everything in the land. This would be classified as evil, right? And this he that they're talking about is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it says he gave up their cattle also to the hail and their flocks to the hot thunderbolts, right? So he's destroying their cattle. Now, this is the point I wanted to get. It says, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and troubled them by sending evil angels among them. Right? So, angels that do what? Rye. Right? They do unpleasantness. They give pain, unhappiness, misery. Right? So the Lord has evil angels. Now, let me see. I got all that. The Lord has uh, evil angels, man. 
okay, on the left-hand side, right? And he has angels on the right-hand side, too. Right now, Talakia. Now, just as proof, because here's, here's, let's go back to this commentary. Because they said, um, it says, let's go back to that statement. Because I have a scripture that's proving that wrong, man. It says, uh, it says, many believe this event occurred in the heavenly court. Right, <clears throat> I'm talking about the Most High uh, 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 having a bet or a wager, okay, with Satan, the spiritual demon Satan. It says many believe this event occurred in God's heavenly court. Right now, the way they worded that, they trying to sow doubt, but this is true, right? It happened in the heavens. It says, yet it seems highly unlikely that God the Father would allow Satan to be in his direct presence to devour his celestial throne right now they're saying it's highly unlikely now let's get this scripture here right now this is going to prove that completely wrong man let's, let's, let's get this scripture this is first kings uh let me see let me select you let me find it this is first kings Check the time. First Kings chapter 22 and verse 19. Uh, this is concerning the wicked king Ahab, how there was there was a council in the heavens uh, uh, on the subject of, 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 of slaying, okay, or causing Ahab to be put to death. Right? Um and this is, um, I believe this is the prophet uh, Yahweh Shapat that came to him. You know, it says Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat. Right, the prophet Yahweh Shapat that came unto Ahab to tell him what was going to happen to him. He was telling him. He was telling him the truth. Right? Now, it says, um, and he said... Uh, Salakia, 1 Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou the word, the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, sitting on his throne. Where is his throne? In the heavens. Okay? His throne is in the heavens. It says, And all the hosts of heaven... Right, standing by him on his right hand and on his left hand, right, representing uh, 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 uh you know, the um, the 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 right handed angels, the righteous angels, and the wicked angels, right, and the Lord, and the Lord said. Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? One said on this manner, another said on that manner. So he's asking the, 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 the host of heaven, okay, all these angels gathered together, right hand, righteous and wicked, who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna go up uh, uh, and cause him to fall? And there came forth a spirit, right, and stood before the Lord, right, and said, I will persuade, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith, as in, how are you going to do this? It says, he said, and he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also go forth and do so. Hold on, bro. Now, this, this lion spirit was, a, was an evil angel, 
right? It was an angel on the left-hand side, a wicked angel, a demon, so to speak. Because really that word, uh, a demon, is a Greek word. An unclean spirit, as they say in, uh, in, in, um, in, in the scriptures, right? So, the reason why you, you got to be, uh, you know... You know, you sort of got to be careful, but really, you know, uh, uh, you know, if you, ha you know, through the Holy Spirit, you'll, you'll be led, you know, because everything, all the basis is off the scriptures, man. So now here's, here's the thing, because Esau knows, but he, he likes to sow doubt. Now here's, here's this scripture. All right. First Kings 22 and 19 going into this and look, look at what the commentary says for this. Right, so they know they just want to sow doubt, right? Because they, you know, they 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 they're the devil that the that the scriptures speak about, right? Devil meaning the deceiver, right, or slanderer. It says, um, and I'm gonna just get to the point right here. It says, uh, that this is for this is a commentary. It says Micah's, uh, Micaiah's warning. Uh, 1 Kings 22, 1 through 28. And then it says uh, 2 Chronicles 18, 1 through 27. And it gives a date, January 25th. And this is, uh, this says um, right here. It says, now, uh, remarkably, we get a glimpse in our current reading of how the Most High, it says God there, but I'm going to say the Most High actually sometimes now they say sometimes you see they they use these this wording man sometimes uses even demons right unclean spirit wicked wicked spirits man right but they're left hand angels it says demons to fulfill his purpose whoo right so they know but they they want to they still want to try to push this this rebellion that there is no order in the heavens, which that's completely off because it's not according to the scriptures, man. Right? Just as it's, uh, if they speak, uh, 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 well, yeah, if they speak not according to this word, there's no light in them, right? But these Edomites, man, they're the wicked, but they know a little. They know certain things, right? They just, they just, they have to know the truth in order to lie. It says, uh. Now, here's something else they said. It says, notice that the Most High did not command any spirit here to lie. He simply asked who would do it and told the volunteer to go to go do what he was inclined to do anyway. Was that stupid, man? <laughs> he did command them. Right? Everybody, all the angels, they put forth, they, you know. They put forth their suggestion. One put forth his suggestion, right? And the Lord liked it. He said, you know what? Go forth and do that. When you tell somebody to go and do that, you, hey, man, the Most High is the king. He commanded him to do that. Right? Because the subject is who's going to cause uh, 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 Ahab to die at Ramoth Gilead. Right? Which just also proves that the Most High does everything, man. Right, because it says that the Lord even uses demons to fulfill his purpose. If his purpose is to destroy you, you're going to be destroyed. If his purpose is to uh, 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 to save you, you're going to be saved. Right? Just as we read, the Lord does all these things. But here, let's read that again, because the Most High did command the Spirit to do this. It says, the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him, right, and prevail also, right? He's going to get the job done. Go forth and do so. That's a command, right? So, right, man. So, hey, it says, um, you know, they try to... <laughs> See, and this this is how you could tell these you know, this is how you could tell the truth from a lie, because it's not it's not congruent, man, with the scriptures, right? Or with itself, right? This is how you know that uh uh this all happens in the heavens, you know? 
the the angels and the demons, so to speak, they appear before the Most High, right? The righteous spirits and the wicked spirits they appear before the Most High, and the Lord uh, commands them to do uh, his his um his his his, his uh, whatever he pleases. All right, and to you know just to end this end this off here, you know. Hey, uh, to, hey, and to, hey, man, to back this up, I'm going to get um Job Salaki. I'm going to try to get all these scriptures before I have to go. Uh, what time is it? Okay. It says, to back, uh, to back this up, it says, uh, this is Job chapter 12 and verse 16. Because Ahab was deceived, you know, and that came to his downfall. Right? It says, with him is strength, Salaki. Which this is talking about the most high. It says, with him is strength and wisdom, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The deceived and the deceiver are his. And in this, in this case, right, that lion spirit, right, was was uh put on his prophets to deceive Ahab. Ahab was the deceived, and the deceiver was those lying prophets in that spirit that was on him. Right? So, hey, um, uh, and I'm, uh, let me see. Did I get all of that? It's in here. I think there's one more scripture I got to get before I'm done. There's one more. Here you go, bro. Here you go. It's perfect. It's perfect. Barack, I thought you all about Shimia was shy. <laughs> right? Here you go. Right? Just as I was saying before, the Lord's throne is in the heavens. This is Psalms 103 and 19. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth, ruleth over all. Right? So the Lord's throne is in the heavens, the spiritual realm. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. That excel in strength and do his commandments, right? Whether they be righteous or whether they be wicked angels, okay? Hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all ye host, ye ministers of his, his servants, that do his pleasure. Whoo! It says, bless the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all his works in all places of dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Right? So there you go, man. Right? So the Lord, A, hey, and this is just, this is all just for glorification of the Lord, right? Why would you call him almighty if he doesn't, or Salakia? Why would you call him omnipotent if he doesn't have all the power, man? Right? If he doesn't have all the power and can have control over everything, whether it be good or whether it be bad. The, the Lord said he's, the, the, the scriptures say he's balanced, right? But hey, Lord willing, man, that was an edifying lesson. You know, I got to, you know, go get prepared for work, go out to the plantation. But, uh, you know, once again, all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect brethren teaching and pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.